Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars Black Series figure review. This time we're looking at another one of the Clone Wars ones. I just reviewed Mace Windu just last week. General Grievous. Um, this one it was part of the three figures including the Ark Trooper and Mace Windu. Uh, for some reason the first two were the only ones that sort of saw a release here in Australia whereas General Grievous has just been completely absent up until now. Um, and Zing Pop Culture managed to get him in for some reason 25 buckaroonies. Um, so I've no idea why it's come out that cheap, whether it's just stock that didn't quite arrive with the rest, I got no idea. But for $25 dollaritos, I decided to pick it up. Um, yeah, I don't really need this Grievous, but I got the other two and uh, he does look quite, kind of cool. So I'm, I'm going to be passing on the recently released Gaming Greats Battle Damage one. Uh, for 25 bucks, you get a little bit more for this and it's a little bit more of a unique, interesting figure. So. Let's bust him open and have a look. All right, here is General Grievous out of the packaging, looking pretty cool. Again, just like every other General Grievous figure that's ever came out, he is really, really difficult to stand just because he is quite sort of gangly and limmy. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. Obviously, the main sort of draw card for this figure is that, you know, his paint is meant to sort of represent those original figures that came out in 03, um, based on the Gendy Tartakovsky series. Um, in which, which the colours were quite simple, you know, General Grievous hadn't appeared on screen yet outside the cartoon, um, so we hadn't yet seen him in live action, so that was what they had to go on, but this time they've sort of used the live action General Grievous figure and given him the sort of colour scheme of that original Clone Wars series, whites, a couple of blue sort of different shades, and yeah, I'm having a real trouble here making him stand. At a nice sort of balanced spot so we'll get there maybe in the next week or two but he will stand <laughs> um, again comes with four lightsabers both all sort of simple in design I believe one of them may may have been this one here this hilt here may have been uh, Kit Fisto's not sure about that one. We do have a couple more blades. That one may have been Kit Fisto's. And this one is the same hilt as Plo Koon's. So they are all removable from their pegs. And yeah, you can definitely get him to hold all four once you separate the arms. So if you're any if you got any idea about the old General Grievous, the original General Grievous figure, yeah, the arms can be separated we'll get a look at that as we go like the first one does come with a cape this one is a little bit more of a simple just sort of it's pretty light cloth you know it's just you know it's made to represent that sort of look that he had i wish that had the the grievous symbol on the back which they missed on the first one as well but again not a big deal for me personally i'm just going to move the camera up a little bit more just so we can get a good look at him so yeah still, still utilizing the same sculpt as I said at the start of the video um, he has just had another re-release um, in the gaming greats as a sort of battle damaged General Grievous there's no real battle damage to the figure it's 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 all sort of cosmetic paint you know some wear and tear on the figure it looks like it's just sort of blast marks and stuff like that there's not really any sort of missing arms or anything like that they have done with some general grievous three and three quarter figures in the past so i'm happy with the the regular one and now that i've got this one for a steal i'm i'm happy with this one too Firstly, yeah some peg holes in the feet would be nice but you know it's a it's a small piece and the joint is right above it but um let's take a look at these arms it feels the plastic on this one with the arms feels a little bit more rigid than the original release. Could just be me. But there are a number of slot pegs in the sides to get him to move around and separate those arms. So there you get four arms for Grievous. Pop all those blades. 
doesn't hold them as well. It's because he only has one thumb on each hand now. But again, not a big deal. Once you get them in there, they're fine. Again, I think the plastic on these hands feel a little bit more rigid than the original release, which is great. Because he's definitely holding them better than he has in the past. One more. Get that in there. It's a nice way to sort of differentiate and have an extra General Grievous on display. My current one has all four blades, but I might switch him down, put the red cape back on him. Or switch this one down, just having two blades in the cape. But I do like the look of the white cape over this one, it looks good. It's not a bad looking Grievous. He's a. Uh, would have been cool to see Black Series 6 inch versions of the sort of animated looking figures, but you know, this is a sort of a, an easy sort of repaint for Hasbro to get out. If we get him to sort of pose in a bit more of a squat position, he might be able to balance a little bit more, but. Always has been tricky to get a General Grievous figure to stand up properly. Especially when these joints down here in the feet, they're so... It's not that they're loose, they're just very fine. And compared with the weight at the top of the figure, it makes it very hard. And those joints do get a little bit loose after a little while. Ta-da! Look, hands free. He's standing. He may last for... A little bit longer. <laughs> no, once I get once I find a spot for him on the shelf, he will get some blue tack. Um, that's just you know, it's the best way to do it for me. Um, yeah, it's it's a nice Grievous. Um, got all the same articulation. You've just got to have seen it as I've been playing around. Get some get some interesting poses. It's just it's the standing that is the issue with this one. Um, but again, you know. If you can get him to stand like I have here, awesome. And there is actually a gap between here and the back. I can get my hand behind it so you don't think he's leaning on the back wall there. I'm not cheating. <laughs> anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this General Grievous. What other characters would you like to see from the Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars? Uh, released in this sort of style. Obviously the packaging was very sort of a nice nod to those 2003 figures. Did have some good ones. I'd, I'd personally like to see some of the different Anakins. The one with the Nelvan tattoo was cool. The one with uh, his sort of all his robes were ripped when he was fighting Asajj on Yavin. That was great. Wouldn't mind seeing a uh, six-inch version of that. That'd be awesome. But yeah, send outlet down below. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you watching. Um, subscribe. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again for some more reviews very soon. Till then, may the force be with you, always.